the kind of flows that are coming into small caps and the kind of run up that we've seen in stocks and uh, we're in fact seeing more folios right now in the small cap space than in large cap and in uh, flexi cap which was a traditional place where people put money uh, what kind of advice are you giving people right now yeah i think when investors chase uh, past returns uh, what they earn in the future is risk because uh, your own flows are you know jacking up for these prices and uh, you're actually buying something which is worth 100 rupees maybe at 110 or 120 so we we are a bit nervous about you know prices we like the companies in which uh, a lot of small cap funds are invested in including our own uh, small cap or mid cap but prices are higher than what they deserve to be uh, and uh, you know just because we feel so it doesn't mean tomorrow they they're going to fall or correct because there are uh, you know more uh, hands chasing less number of stocks so this fraud can continue this can last longer than uh, one can anticipate but as disciplined investors uh, it is better to invest in flexi cap funds because they themselves invest up to 25 30 40 percent in small and mid cap and the fund manager has the ability to navigate so if he feels that you know these set of five small cap stocks in my portfolio have run up a lot and i need to you know drink them and wait for some time before i get the next opportunity he will do it on your behalf but left to yourself, you have to be really very discerning in understanding these businesses and their valuations and not getting carried away by past returns. Any investing done basis past return actually has been very harmful. Have we reached bubble zone though? No, not yet. I, I will say that uh, unlike last uh, cycle like 2017-18 where uh, you know one prices and valuations were similar or slightly higher than where we are today, we are still you know marginally lesser than that. But in that round, what happened is in the subsequent three, four years, the business cycle was very weak hmm. because we had uh, many events where, uh, you know, smaller companies uh, had many shocks, economic shocks, industry level shocks, um, you know, banking system uh, struggled because NPAs came up and, you know, most banks had stopped lending. So, you know, cash flow, the oxygen to small cap companies or businesses also had choked down. Right now, we're not seeing, uh, you know, worrying signs from a business cycle point of view. The worrying sign is more from a price and valuation point of view. So maybe uh, in a dashboard, if 100 units have to flash red, right now maybe 60 are flashing red and 40 are still green. Flow is also a very good fundamental signal these days because if more money chases stocks, stocks can continue to you know rise. So I would just say that um, uh, either you moderate your expectations from here and be uh, prepared if there is volatility. Don't panic that time. And if you have to panic when prices fall, you rather panic early and panic when prices are rising. Well put. Thanks so much, Kalpen.